Hi guys, in this video, short video probably, we, I'm gonna show you how to do the HVAC tests and battery cooling performance test uh, using the service menu on Tesla Model 3 and Y. Uh, to do that, you'll need your card. So go to software, press the Model 3 on whatever it says on your car for six, seven seconds. Uh, the access code is service enable service menu and there you go that's your service menu so then we're gonna go to thermal actions uh, I've done this before already that's why it shows green success but I had my radiator replaced, so I had to refill the aircon, and I had to run this test to check. So, uh, we'll do the H back first on your. It'll show start and inactive because I've done it before. That's why it's green because it passed that test. So if you press start, it won't do it because you have to unlock the gateway. To do that, you need to have your card located here then full press brake well it says there anyway full press brake and indicator all the way up wait for 10 seconds keep holding here release it now switch off the indicator and press start basically what i'll do we're just gonna blow uh air from the air vents first it's gonna start with cold air and then it's gonna blow with hot air. Now it's getting warmer, it starts blowing warm air. Getting hot now. That's it. Yeah, if everything's okay, everything working fine, then it'll see success green. If it's red, then it'll come up with the table to show what's exactly wrong. And also we can do thermal performance test. Uh, it will open front active air flaps and obviously blow the fan. Sending coolant through the system. Can hear the blower under the bonnet. Also, you go here, coolant air purge. That's if you replaced your coolant or had to top it up uh, and you got air in your system, you need to run this. I made a separate video for that. You can find it on YouTube. Yeah, it's slowing down now. It's green, so no issues. Before I did have that issue and it popped up saying the aircon pressure low. That's it, all green, all good. To exit the service menu, just press and hold this button and it's going back to your normal Tesla. Thank you for watching, see ya.